bowling addresses both fighters. They touch gloves and we're underway. Oh my God, incredible take down. Is on time. Right. Nate Myers in the tap out camo trunks. Thomas Brownfield is on the bottom. Brownfield's got the leg lock around him, but he's able to fight out of that. Nate Myers back to the attack. Got the forearm across the throat. But it looks like Brownfield was able to get the legs locked around the waist to try to get a little bit of leverage away from Nate. Nate Meyer in Thomas Brownfield's full guard. Putting him up, trying to slam a very nice move with Thomas Brownfield to release his legs, release the guard around Nate Meyer. Takes away from the intensity of that. And he's going for a, a triangle now. Arm bar, oh, he's, he's got his legs wrapped up. He's just taking a he lot of energy from, from Nate Meyer. A lot of energy, and he's in a very precarious situation. If Thomas Brownford can pull back and grab his left heel and pull that up closer underneath the knee of his right leg. He's doing it right now. He's doing it right now. And it cinches, it cinches it in. So very tight, and you can see with all the exit, a lot of exertion from Nate Meyer. He's wasting a lot of energy. This is not look good. I can't see for a view here, but Thomas Brownfield needs to take Nate Myers. And that is it right there. We have the tap out. The triangle choke. Thomas Brownfield plays a triangle choke on Nate Meyer. As you said before, the zero must go, and Thomas Brownfield got himself a very impressive move here. Out of the G4 spike team, 